Hey YouTube, thanks for viewing Lena Reads The Sign of Cancer for the second half of January 2019. Uh, remember, the readings are based on collective energies for the zodiac signs. Uh, that means don't take it as your life, but use the resonating messages as a tool to shed light on issues that need your attention. Uh, you can get a reading where you can ask personal questions, get personalized advice. Um, that's my suggestion. My donation, instant go, and Vimeo information are in the description. Now let's get it. But Cancer, uh, second half of January 2019. Um, last read I did for Cancer, it was like every time I sat down, I just immediately got tired, right? <laughs> I just, you know, it, it took a while for me to be able to get up with Cancer's energy. But I'm ready this time. Let's see what we got. First to the board is uh, the hangman, that's, the sign, that's um, Pisces, indicates Pisces. You might be waiting for something, you know, patiently waiting, not, you know, on hold or anything like that, but it seems like just chilling, you know, not like you're moving forward, not like you're going backwards. We got the page of swords that could be any uh, air energy Aquarius Libra or uh, Gemini looks like you could be hanging out people watching maybe specifically watching one person with the uh, four of cups here in reverse looking like that uh, but that's in reverse so we'll clarify yeah it looks like you may be looking for a response from someone or you may be waiting to hear from someone uh, over these next couple weeks Possibly the King of Wands. Uh, this could be any um, fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And then we got the Three of Pentacles. So let's clarify. The Three of Pentacles in, is in reverse. So you may be, there may be some issues on, some relationship is, issues. Let's see. So, trying to hold on to something. It could be just saving money or just, let's see here. Hmm. Card of Sagittarius comes out. So, it looks like you are patiently waiting. You could be waiting for a relationship to, or an answer on a relationship, or an answer on an offer you made towards a relationship, or an answer that, um, or you could be, like I said, for some people this is going to be money related, but for a lot of you it's dating. So that's the card of Sagittarius in this deck. You're waiting for a chance at this person. Possibly the King of Wands. With the Page of Swords here in reverse. Clarified by the Seven of Cups. You could be just trying to make a decision on some of your options, but it looks like one person here, I don't know, let's see. Yeah, maybe you're, let's see. Yeah, you, it looks like you may be waiting for the right time 
to make an offer or cash someone out. With the Four of Cups in reverse, you could be missing something. <clears throat> you know, there's this person may be watching you too, but it doesn't look like, for some reason, it looks like this person may be possibly ignoring you or they could just be busy with other things and not paying attention but the queen of pentacles is not interested in that could, she could represent any uh, earth sign Capricorn Virgo or Taurus um, she could inter indicate a Sagittarius as well we got some strong Sagittarius energy here. You could be waiting for a response from possibly a an Aquarius as well. But the King of Wands looks like he's new. Let's see. Clarify the summer lands. Clarify the King of Wands. Okay. So the King of Wands is moving in. And he's moving fast. Like he's moving faster than what you're ready for. But you may take a chance on him if you're and the, you know the energies could be vice versa the moon here clarifying the eight of wands Pisces energy so you could be waiting for communication from a an air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini You could be waiting. This is who you could be waiting on a response for here or possibly a Sagittarius, Pisces. The card of Cancer is here. So this could easily be your, your energy. The King of Wands is clarified by uh, the card of Cancer. Uh, as well as Yeah, so this could also indicate Leo. Okay. Now let's see what's going on. Kind of have a full water in reverse. Okay. Good last card. That is the energy of Capricorn or Aquarius, but it's the world card. Clarify the Oak King. Okay, like I said, waiting on a chance. better. It's like if you get a city, you're waiting on a second chance, looks like. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Clarify the 
temperance. Could be another cancer you're dealing with or waiting for a response from. But yeah, I just see you waiting here. Clear by the page of swords in reverse. Two of the cups. Okay, somebody left you or you left someone. Seven of cups. Clarified by, yeah, the Empress in reverse. There may be a, a son or a daughter involved here. Um, also, um, Taurus or Libra energy indicated. Okay, <clears throat> so let's clarify the page of cups in reverse. Clarify the ace of pentacles. Okay, so it looks like Cancer, someone may have left you and you're waiting for a second chance. You made your offer or you let them know that you're waiting, but they turn you know, and they may look back, but for right now, they turn their back. Clarify the four of cups. Clarify the four of cups in reverse. So you may be trying to hold on to an Aries or vice versa. This person may be trying to keep you. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Clarifying the Oak King. So there's a few different people here, but no seven Hold on here. Yeah. So we got a few different options. And these could be any sign, but um, real strong, Cancer, Sagittarius, Aries. baby mom or baby dad that person is they're not waiting up they're not waiting around for your offer they're not um, accepting your offer or vice versa
with the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles in reverse here, clarifying each other. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles in reverse. a headache. It just looks like you're letting something go. With the four pinnacles in reverse here. Possibly a, let's see here, a Gemini or another Cancer. Possibly a Virgo or a Libra. But it looks like these queens are in reverse. So either they're not accepting your offer or you're not accepting their offer. Oof. Okay. So let's clarify the eight of wands in reverse. What's going to happen here, Spirit? Help me out. All right. So toxic connection, possible Capricorn. The moon, uh, Pisces energy clarified again by the Empress. Okay. Clarify the Empress again. Okay. So the Empress as an option. Okay, so here the Empress is not accepting or you're not accepting the Empress's offer but this person just holds off for a little while and they secretly want this to work but when they do make their approach Clarify the Queen of Swords. Okay, so there's something going on with a possible Taurus or Libra in your energy. That person may have something to hide and showing up as the empress let's see here let me clarify i'm going to use this new deck to clarify the empress in reverse clarifying the seven of water okay and it's the four of cups So I take it to say that this person, the Empress, has more options had she's into something else. 
clarifying the Empress, clarifying the Moon. She's possibly sexually motivated. Hold on. When she comes back in, let's clarify. Yeah, let's clarify the devil. So this could be that she is she's she wants something out of this possible Libra or Taurus uh, it could be any sign but implicated here by the, the Empress she wants something specific out of this She's sexually motivated. I feel like with this, um, with the devil card here, it just means, you know, either the sex was good and she's, you know, she she's not able to leave that one thing alone. And she knows that that's what she wants. But because you want something more, the offer is going to come out like, or you're going to take it as a stable offer. But it's just a, it, it's not a stable offer. It's just a date. Like we're gonna do this, you know. Like let's just do this. But let's clarify here. The King of Wands. <laughs> You're okay with that. But there's headache, you know, you, you know what you're getting yourself into, or you may or may not, but um, it's a headache. I feel like you may, because you want this relationship, it's, it, it, it's going to cause you some sleepless nights when she's done with you, you know? For the moment because it looks like okay so you show up and you clarify by the fool you take a risk you're gonna take a risk on this offer that she's coming back with let's clarify hold on clarify the fool the sun of lands clarifying the king of wands okay Yeah, so uh, let's clarify the emperor. Clarify the emperor. Clarify the chariots. Excuse me. Okay, so You're gonna come in as the fool. I mean, you're gonna take you're gonna take this foolish offer, and you're gonna learn from it. Like you're gonna learn from it. You're gonna grow from it, and that's what's gonna be attractive. Okay, Cancer. So the one you want is in, implicated by the Empress and yeah she wants to she wants to come back she doesn't want you at first she wants to come back just to you know get a real quick fix <laughs> but um, I think here you're gonna take her back and this could be vice versa again, but you're going to take her back. You're going to take a risk on this. It's going to be, you're going to see, you're going to see what her motivation is. She's, she's not even going to hide it. She's not even going to hide. I mean, she's going to, she's going to tell you what you want to hear or whatever, but once she's 
got her filled, you're going to know it. And that's going to, you're going to hermit. You're going to hermit. Hermit is clarifying the fool. Uh, the hermit also indicates uh, Virgo energy. But then that is clarified by the chariot, which is cancer energy, Aries energy, and then the queen of cups here. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, let me clarify this queen because... Clarify the Queen of Cups in reverse. Clarify the, the face of water. Clarify the nurturing of the Bulls. All right. So it it just looks like you you changed this person's mind. Let's clarify the Empress again. Clarify the Empress in reverse. Okay. Clarify the Empress in the upright. Okay. So this person is really like the empress is really um, between two two things, right? Or more than one thing. And she comes in to, or she comes back to you. I feel like she's coming back to you. But and then, like I said, the empress again. That's Taurus or Libra energy. She comes back to you and it looks like this, the offer looks stable, but it's not. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Okay, yeah. So. She, so the Empress gets it and goes, and you sit back on it. You think it, you think about it, and you grow on it. Like whatever you learn from this experience puts you in the Wheel of Fortune energy, but it also puts you in the Emperor energy, right? So this is the card of Aries, but the Emperor is bigger than all the kings. So you acquire, after this issue, you, you go into your head feeling like this, feeling like you have swords in the mirror with you. The whole time you're thinking, like, how did this happen? How do I prevent this from happening again? What did I, what was the point of going through this? What did I have to learn? And with the answers to those questions, you're able to move forward. This is also the card of cancer, you and your power, right? That shows like, it looks like a family on a road trip or a mom taking kids to school. And it's clarified by the emperor and a queen, someone from your past, it looks like. Someone who you turned down, possibly, or someone that turns you down. But either you 
decide after much deliberation that this is a good route for you to go. This Queen of Cups. Um, who can also indicate another Cancer or Gemini. Let's see what's happening going forward. Clarify the Three of Pentacles in reverse. to take the three of pentacles in reverse here to say that you're not letting you're not letting any any of these people that have proven themselves to not be worthy you're not letting them back in you're done being in and out that's for some of you but with the four of cups in reverse here Yeah, it's like you're you're basically saying no more. I'm not going back. I'm not going backwards anymore. With the world here clarified by the Eight of Cups in reverse, that's exactly what it's saying. It's the Eight of Cups in reverse is usually walking away but this is how this guy looks he's curious he's looking forward in reverse I believe that's saying that you acquire the world by hold on let's verify that clarify the eight of chalices in reverse clarifying the world yeah It's like you coming in out of the fold. Come on, clarify. Eight of chalices, clarify the world. Not waiting. like you do you do you like you do go back <laughs> you want to go back you're looking back like I don't like you're unsure of your choices now like You want to move forward, but you're stuck with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse here. You're not waiting patiently. You're, fuck, you're stuck. You're out of balance, and there could be some deceit there. The Two of Wands indicating that you need to you need to make a choice. You need to clearly state what you want. Okay, and that's bringing us to the Wheel of Fortune. 
and the Six of Cups. And I take that to mean that you may <laughs> you may for some of you uh, the Libra or Taurus is someone that is hard for you to part with you wanted that person here and that person is able to come back to you but you do pick up someone it looks like this is a different energy you pick up someone oh okay so Taurus or Libra comes back to you know get get their final fix or, or maybe just to play with you manipulate you one night stand you when they know you want more when they leave you with swords in your bed you start to review your your look your outlook on things you start to review your outlook on things you learn from what you've been through that's the hermit uh, the card of Virgo indicating that you learn from what you've been through with this person that this person will continue to come back and leave come back and leave and, and they're, they're going to tell you what you want to hear to get in and you're going to fall for it every time like you're going to fall for it I, I can see that but after this person does this once and it's showing here after they do this you're going to become attractive to someone who, to one of your other options that possibly turns you down or one of your other options is going to start to look much much better after this person has hurt you and y'all are going to put something together y'all are going to get together and it's going to be real nice like it might even be real family like for, for some of you right this is actually a king and a queen it doesn't look like it in these decks but that's a king and a queen and this is the chariot and the will of fortune so you're gonna you're gonna establish something. Uh, it feels like a solid companionship, right? Something serious, something real, something with all the the elements, something with all the elements. You're not missing anything with this new with well with this relationship you acquire after you come out of the hermit mode but then your bed hopper is going to come back your Libra or the Taurus is going to come back and you're going to find this it looks like you're going to find out that you can have your cake and eat it too basically you're gonna find out that you can have your cake and eat it too but it's gonna take a lot out of you like all these pinnacles are in reverse so pinnacles uh, represent physical things um, material things and, um, health is gonna wear down on you because you got the five six and the seven of Pentacles in reverse right there before the two of wands and it looks like here you're making a decision and whatever decision you make you're still gonna end up with your will of fortune but the six of cups indicates a reunion so 
Your will of fortune is the relationship you acquire. Your reunion is the empress that comes in and out, the Libra, the Libra of the Taurus. So let's just ask really fast. Is Libra, the Libra or Taurus or the Empress interested in a solid relationship with Cancer when they come back? Okay. It looks like they may still be... Uh, They may still be playing the field. They're not ready. They're not ready to make a decision. But you will still be there. I feel like you will still be there for them. This person may be young, or Two nines. Let's see. Cancer is in the tenth house and the eleventh house. Yeah. So this person is for this person that comes in and out. They are not focused on love with you, on emotion with you, and you're focused on more than just the physical with them. Hold on, clarify the emperor here. You're, wor you're worried about what you could lose. You want this person. This person can win every time with you. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's something wrong if you can handle it. It's just, it just, you, you may, let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so the nines keep coming up, right? So this is a third party situation. But it's only growing on one side. Hold on. Clarify the nine of stone in reverse. I think it's okay. So, with that being said, this person has has their hooks in you. And you have your hooks in them. But as far as I can see right here, you will stay in the relation, in a, a different relationship. There won't be uh, a fully fulfilling relationship with the Taurus or the Libra. The Taurus or Libra who is back and forth in and out. But um, there is a stable relationship represented here that's fulfilling. It's, it's, got, it's got more than just growth potential. It is the will of fortune for you. So, yeah, take that how it resonates. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see y'all later.